My name is Larry Chike. I'm a triple jumper for Great Britain. Um, I'm just going into my 20th year as an international triple jumper. I went on to win the Commonwealth Games uh, European Cup and um, went to two Olympic Games, Sydney and uh, Beijing. My name is Chris Tomlinson. I do the long jump. Um, I'm not going into my 20th year as an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my best achievements so far are the British indoor record, uh, British outdoor record, i am also been to two Olympic Games and I picked up a World Indoor Silver in 2008 and a uh, European Outdoor Bronze in 2010. Do what you have to do. Larry, can you tell me a bit about what you were doing here at Middlesex today? Um, really sort of uh, promoting the Olympics. I mean, it's a big push. Uh, we're only six months away and sort of making people aware that the Olympic Games is coming and sort of giving them a little taste uh, of what to really expect. And really from an athlete's point of view, what we're going to be doing in the next few months, preparing ourselves for the biggest show in the world. I jumped 810 on... Chris, we've got 10. some students that could potentially compete in the Olympics. What tips could you give them? Oh, good question. Um, I think... For, for me, I think the main thing is is you've got to enjoy the experience. The next four or five months leading into the Games, this is the critical period of time. You want to make sure that you are fully focused. You want to make sure that you've, you, you've absolutely given 100% when, because when these Games are over, they're over and you'll never be able to get this time back. The crowd just erupted. I had goosebumps up the kickoff. What do you think about Middlesex University and its sports facilities? Larry, in your speech, you talked about using uh, Middlesex's facilities before. What do you think? Well, it's brilliant. I see there's been quite a big investment in the sporting facilities. Um, I was using the gym here at Middlesex University way back about five, six years ago, which was a, quite a dated gym. Now it's a, a very modern gym with all the facilities an athlete needs to do their general conditioning and get strong and ready. Um, I've used it a lot when I've been doing my rehab, being that I, I train just down the road at Hendon. It's really handy to come down to a very well-equipped gym. And I've got to say thank you to Middlesex University for giving me the opportunity to use that facility and help me back on track to perform at the highest level. United States. So I say to you, dream and dream big. And, uh, to both of you now, first Chris, how excited are you that the Olympics will be held in London and you could be competing here? Look, I mean, it's the obvious uh, answer to say I'm excited goes without saying yes. Uh, however, what I do say to everybody is you've got to take it one day at a time. Um, this, is, this isn't something that you're just going to wake up on August the 3rd and jump nine metres <laughs> and it's going to happen. For me, it's all about stepping stones. Uh, one training session at a time, after one training session, one day at a time. And just make, making sure that each day, as each day passes, I'm that little bit stronger, that little bit faster, that little bit technically better, and therefore that little bit uh, better prepared to achieve my goal in the Olympic Games. So are you then excited or apprehensive? Which one is it then? Oh, I can put me on the spot. Uh, excited, both, both. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm apprehensive that I stay in one piece. Um, and I'm excited because it's, it's going to be the biggest opportunity of my athletics career. Larry, same to you. Are you excited? I am. I'm extremely excited. I think it's a, a rarity that you get a, a partisan crowd and on such a big scale. It's going to be 80,000 people and I'm sure 99% of them will be screaming for me when I'm on the runway. I can't wait. I've competed many a times in the UK with the crowd behind me a lot smaller than that and always performed in front of a home crowd. I think I've been waiting all my life to be in an Olympic Stadium at home and compete and uh, the opportunity is coming and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there. Brilliant. Thank you, gents. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers.